Hi, my name is Andrea, and today I'm going to talk about plastic surgery. So, have any of y'all ever thought about considering getting a procedure done, or have ever felt like you have insecurities and you feel like you're not good enough and you feel like you'd want to change them? I feel like every human, in, I feel like since we're all human, at least one point in your life you thought of your flaws, like, I really want to change something about myself. So, nowadays the majority of society is grossly fixated on getting plastic surgery and attempting to either buy back their future or buy a face or a body of like the, their celebrity idols. And today I'm going to talk about three main points, which is the problems that plastic surgery comes with, the causes and effects that it will lead to in your later on future, and solutions that will improve your physique that do not include plastic surgery. So this brings me to my first point, the problems that plastic surgery comes with, there's many, but I'm gonna talk about a few, or two mainly. So the first one I'm talking about is the problems that either, even if it's like a small surgery, just such as like fillers or Botox, to like big surgeries, like as in um, liposuction or breast augmentation, um, they're all risky and that, with that said, from an article and a research, that I'm going to quote is, in a recent study found that liposuction may slam more problem area while creating another. Women who suction fat from their thighs and lower abdomen ultimately destroy those fat cells. And when they eventually put on weight back on, it just, it distributes it unevenly and often less fatty, and it often distributes to like fatty areas. So like when ladies get like their fat sucked out, um, that picture shows like in the future like you're you're obviously gonna gain weight and it's like not gonna gain weight like properly. That's not how like a normal stomach is kind of supposed to look like and it's just gonna look weird. So no one wants to have that kind of body and just that's one of the problems that it has. And also the second one is that the huge financial cost that plastic surgery is not cheap and the more the experience that the doctor has and the more intrigued into the more um, difficult the procedure, the obvious more um, costly that it will get. Um, this brings me to my second point, which is the cause and effects. So the effects of getting quick fixes rather than thinking about other options is that you will be paying for them like in the long run. And in fact, and that these surgeries not I, like I said in my previous one, they are risky and they do come with some, not all, come with like infections. And these are some of the, these, there's many infections like um, depending on the type of surgery that you get, but these two stuck out to me because they just look really weird. <laughs> so the first one is called hematoma. Um, so this one is like um, when you get fillers in your face, you probably like to uplift your cheekbone or anything your skin has like a reaction to it and it, that's like all like the blood under your skin and not mixing well with the chemicals. And then a second one is called seroma and it's a collection of the fluids after surgery. Like when you get, um, well for me, I'm obviously thinking about like the future when I'm gonna have kids and if I have to go to like C-section, I'm gonna have that line. But like people that go and get these lines that like they obviously wanna better their body and like they're not gonna want to have like a little like fluid under there because you obviously went in for like you had a better body and you came out with like a botched body. And oh, sorry. Back to this one. I was gonna say this in the beginning. Since like in one of the research that I was reading, that for instance, like research has shown that infections occur in 13% of people who undergo breast augmentation. So since breast Augmentation is probably like one of the most popular surgeries that girls would want to get. That it just shows that like even that has a pretty big amount of risky of getting infections, and you would want to improve your body and not come up with those problems. So solutions to fixing to not having like your body messed up. I thought they're kind of like known, but it's just to remind you like instead of spending money on billions of dollars on like these surgeries instead invest your money on a personal trainer and 
that they'll, they'll have you have a balanced diet. And obviously, you'll get your body that you'll work for, and it's not like you won't have like dangerous effects to your body later on in the future. And so, go ahead, go ahead and close it off. So, I went ahead and talked about the problems that plastic surgery causes, the causes and effects that it leads to in the future, and the solutions that you can do instead of considering a plastic surgery as an option. And well, the goal of my um, PowerPoint was my presentation was to persuade y'all to not think of plastic surgery as an option and to look at the solutions and exercise if you want a better body to work for it. And that concludes my speech.